Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the CRUD. So with the help of the React.js, MySQL, Node.js and React Redux Toolkit. We are going to implement in this lecture. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do write, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. Here you can see that. So first I will delete the records and here you can see there is only one record. So browse, ignore and there is no records. Okay. So here we are at the test, test, add data. So here we can see that we are call, calling the API also at the same. Okay. Because we are implementing the React Redux toolkit, right? So here I can also add any of the things. Okay. So add data, data is there. And here you can see that the data is updated over here also. Okay. So if, if I want to go with edit, so test, so I will add test two, test two update you can see that and then the database and also you can see the data is updated here right so let's see how we are going to make that one so be with me till the end so let's get started so first we do with the database part right so here we have the backend okay so here we go with the server.js file so this is the server.js file okay right so first you need to install the express course body parser and mysql2 right after that we have the app in initialization with express app dot use code so that any one can use this without the course issue body parser and the body uh, parser json both are for the api calls so that it can accept the url code form data and the json data at the same time okay so here we have the establishing a connection to the MySQL. So you can see that connection is there, right? After that, we have the get API request. So here db.query select star from the data. So we are putting all the data from the database. So that is the get list of the data. Okay. Next one, we have handling the post request for adding the data into the database. So insert into the data. Okay. We take the name and the value. Okay. From the uh, react part. So it comes from here name and the value and we just try to insert that row. Okay. And we will return the ID name and the value. Okay. Next part that we have the update one. We are going to update the data behalf of the IDs. So we accept the request parameter ID and here we are sending name and the value and update data set name and the value where ID is to be. Okay. So we are sending the three parameters over here okay and then update updated successfully okay last one that we are doing with the delete part so we are accepting one id that is the required parameters so we are going to delete query is there delete from the data where id should be one two three four we are expecting the id and then if there is any error throw error else we are returning the message data deleted successfully okay the last that is the port we are and app listening to the server this is the backend part, the full backend part. Okay. Done. Next, we move to the React part. Okay. So we have made the first one that is the store chairs. Okay. First, we go with the store. So make a file store.js in the source store.js. So here we are using import configure store from the React Redux JS toolkit. So add this one. Then data reducer. So we have created the data slice. Why it's not, but it's there data slice stores. Let me just uh, control X and here you can see that. Okay. The same thing. And now it's showing, right? Okay. So data reducer so data slice. So we, all the data slices over here. Okay. Now we have to export default config store reducer that we are using data reducer. Okay. So this is the default one that we are using. Okay. We have to create the store.js file. Next, we have to go with the index.js file. Okay. So I have opened any index of the JS. Okay. So here we have to configure. So we have the bootstrap which I have configured and you have to provide the react redux, import the provider, import the redux store. Okay. And you have to wrap into whole application in the provider. Okay. With the store. So we can take any data from the store. Okay. So this is the index.js file. 
now we have the data slice and the app.js are two files okay so first we go with the app.js file okay which we have all entire the component okay so this is not which is commented okay so here first we have import react use effect and the use state from the react use dispatch and the use selector from the react redux we are using then fetch data create data update data and delete data from the data slides import create data action so here this is the action file okay then we have a bootstrap so already added in the bootstrap in the index.js file this is not required over here okay then we have a app function so first we are using the dispatch for the use dispatch first we initialize the selector that is coming with the data so use selector state should be state data dot data that we are adding so you can access it via the state or data okay so data part you can assess because here we can see that the use selector we are using so we are getting the data from the state and you, uh, all the data is come that we are you can say uh, rendering part is come with the data okay so here you can see that now we are making the state initialization first one is uh, all our diff, diff, uh, editing part is use state null otherwise it's not required because i am using the pop-up over here for the edit so if you skip editing at id you can skip that one okay because uh, you can see when i try to edit and the same one i have added over here so this data comes up over here so you can see updated so in that note i am using that one if you can skip that one okay so name and the value okay first we are using the use effect so first we display the list if we have so we will we have we have to dispatch the fetch data and check the fetch data functionality so here you can see that we are calling the data fetch create async thunk okay data fetch and which api we are calling this is the api data that is the get request whatever data is getting on over here okay so we have the fetch data in the slices part also okay so here you can see <coughs> fetch data pending still it's loading fetch data dot fulfilled when it succeed then we are getting all the data in the state dot data so you can assess via the data part. you can see that when uh, i go with the app.js file so once the data is coming up here use effect dispatch data so here you can see that the last one where we are entering the data here you can see data dot map because we are using the use selector over here here you can see that here you can see data use selector so all all the data should be stored in this data because we here we are using use selector and state here it's adding state data dot data so all the data comes in the data part so you can loop it and show the data like this way okay so this is the first one uh, use effect we are calling the api okay the next one we have a handle edit function then we have a handle update function so handle edit i think we don't require okay so handle add function is there so when we click on the uh, this add functionality add so create the data would be called so here we have to dispatch the create function so here you can see that the create function okay ex uh, create the data action then we are calling the api and sending the name and the value and return all the response okay then we have a create function data slice over here okay add case data uh, create data fulfilled when it is done then we are pushing all the data whatever get in from the pay action dot payload okay then it is again stored stored into our state and then we are again calling the data from here you can see that ddd so when i just add it okay so you can see that list is updated so all the data all state is updated and here we can uh, already looping the data so once the data is up rendered you can see that the updated list okay see this the fetch, fetch data and pending and the fulfill and the key data is done the the, la, the next two is update data and the delete data data is updated on the behalf of the id okay so state dot data dot find index whatever we have the id and then on the behalf of index we are updating the value okay so here we have called the api on the same node so here you can see that updated update data so data update will call 
it will send id name and the value okay and return the id name and the value okay updated one this last one that is the delete one okay so here you can see that the delete fulfilled okay so state or data filter id is not equal to id if not okay then we will call this one and passing the id it will delete that record and it is removed from that list okay so let's review the handle add is done okay dispatching the create data event then we are making the both the states null handle delete just passing the id okay and the, here we have the model state functions for the edit models show model okay use state handle model set show models close model so when the editing is id is null both should be null and the model should be show set show models to be false okay when we then we have a close but close model okay so here you can see that whenever i click on the edit model so here we have a close one when we close this one okay handle close so set editing will be null set name set value and the set modal should be false okay and the last one you can see the render part so first we have the form where we have a handle add so in handle add what we are doing dispatching the create okay so this is the we have already done with the slice part right okay the next one this is the input field where we have a placeholder value and the change here okay next input that is the value okay so the next one add data button okay and then form is closed then we have a listing of the, all the data that we are mapping with the data dot map okay because all the data is set into the data part here you can see that item dot name and item dot value then we have a two buttons that is handle edit and handle delete okay so on click on the handle edit there is a pop up right on click on the handle edit you can see set id and handle open modal so we will calling the modal function so set show modal to be true then we are opening the modal part right on click of the edit one okay so here we have the where is the, yeah here we have a handle edit which which we are sending the id name and the value then we have a delete delete we are sending the id only okay so clicking on the so there is a edit modal you can see that the display style dis display show modal block null okay you can see that now we have the modal part where we are showing the data close button is there then we have the fields input set name even dot target dot value by default the data is in the name part okay we are because we are sending the name id and the value so first we are show the that values name and the value then uh, whenever we enter anything or remove and add some data then we will hitting the another query to update the data okay so here we have a handle update so it will call when we click on the button handle you can see here then we have update one okay so this will update the data so editing id dispatch the update data then we will send the id name and the value so when we click on this one you can see that we will call this api and here you can see add is updating the data so we will take the id name and the value and check the id is there then we will update that state data and return that one okay and same same way we will update the calling the api also okay so here this is how we are able to implement the flow of the react crud operation with react redux toolkit node shares and the mysql okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day so this is the full file okay um, create slice create async thunk i just forgot okay exios so, so you need to install this package exios also redux js toolkit also so this and the bootstrap you need to install that one here i can see so you have to install the redux js toolkit react redux react redux thunk so all this you have to install and uh,
this way you have to implement that one okay so any doubt if we here we have initial initial state which is very important so by default the data is empty status to be idle and the error should be null then after that we are updating the data with the data that we are calling from the apis okay and set that the state okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section okay all the data i have shown i guess okay so we have the name initial state reducers extra reducers then builder all the cases we have handled over here right and then export default data slice dot reducer any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day